If you want to become a hacker, you need to know Linux. It's the operating system that hackers use. And if you want to start your journey to penetration testing, cybersecurity, or any type of hacking, this is the right video for you because today I'm going to teach you step by step exactly what you need in order to start your hacking journey. Welcome to my Linux session for hackers and everyone because everyone needs to know Linux for your own goods. Let's go into the video. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to cover what is Linux. Well, actually, Linux is not an operating system, but it is a kernel. And what a kernel does, it is like a base in which many operating systems can be made of. That's why there is a lot of Linux distros. It can be Kali Linux, Ubuntu Linux, Parrot OS, or many other types of Linux. In this video, we are going to use Kali Linux, but all the commands I'm going to teach you will be the same in any type of Linux because they are the same. They have the one kernel and what the kernel does which is the linux the operating system which is maybe Kali linux or ubuntu or the parrot os communicates with the linux and the linux kernel communicates with the cpu and all the hard code this is like the mediator the man in the middle it connects between the operating system and the computer hardware and everything and today let's go into the commands that can be used in linux let's get into the computer now this is your linux machine okay some of you didn't know that linux had some pretty gui like graphical user interface like this it has it but this is actually not how linux is meant to be used i mean if you're using windows or something like that you are familiar with all these things like here you have all this but in linux they're kind of different though you can just see it is the graphical user interface okay you have home you have the file system you have everything you have trash but this is, isn't how Linux is made to be used. Now, Linux you use this little thing right over here, which is called the terminal. When you open the terminal, okay, you will see something like this. Let me make this bigger a little bit. You will see something like this. But what is this actually? Now, let's go and open a normal home page. Double click on that. And this sucker will open up real quickly. Now, let me make this a little bit. Yep. Okay, right now you're here. You know, you are in your home directory. Kevdine and in Kevdine you see all these things, desktop and all that thing. Now, how do you see them here? Like, where are we in this, whatever, it, I don't know where are we? And that leads us to the first command that we are going to learn today. It is called the PWD. PWD stands for Print Working Directory. Now, if you write PWD right over here and you press enter, let's hope and see, it will tell us where are we. Okay, you can see we are slash home slash Kevdine. Great, right? Put that in mind, the first command, okay? Now we had slash kevdine. Right here we can see everything. It is GUI, it is UI, whatever, graphical user interface. It is easy to see. But how do we see that here? Like everything going on, how do we see it here? This leads us to the new second command. I forgot to say this, new command time. Now in this command, we are going to write ls, which stands for list. This will list all the directories found on the current directories like all the files or something like that i don't know now let's press enter and we'll list everything okay we'll see we have anaconda we have android we have desktop the same here we have silox desktop anaconda android black guy whatever okay it's really easy we can see it right over here okay now we have learned two commands until now you have to put them in mind we are going to learn the second command for example right here we can go to desktop by double clicking on this one and you can see in desktop we have an xor if you click on xor you can see everything right over here okay now how do we actually navigate right over here in your terminal it's called the linux terminal where all the magic happens all the hacking happens and i want you to know this because linux is faster more stronger and secure that's why a lot of websites are built out of linux now let's go and see for example if you want to go to desktop as we did right over here because we had desktop kevdine desktop now, right here, we're going to learn new command time, okay? It's CD. CD stands for change working directory, and we are going to change it into desktop, okay? We are going to change it on desktop. You can put the four slash, it's okay. You can not put the four slash, it's still okay, okay? Now, after that, I want you to press enter right over here, and if you press enter, how do we know we are desktop? Here is where we remember the commands I just told you. PWD to print the working directory to see where are we. We had slash home slash kevdan slash desktop. Amazing, right? 
Okay, now put these three commands in line. We have learned a lot today. Three commands and they are basic commands that can be used in your daily, day-to-day, -day, whatever you're doing in Kali Linux. Okay, now right now you are in Kali Linux desktop, whatever at your home, Kevdan desktop. Okay, how do we actually go back? Like right here, you can just press on this go back icon and you're back to Kevdan. How do we go back right over here? new command time you are going to change the working directory but instead of changing the work directory to desktop or something else you're going to cd then put a space then write dot dot this will actually take you back in time actually we are traveling now when you press enter right over here and you press you write pwd press enter you will see we have gone one step back it is desktop now it is slash kevdine only this desktop we have already gone back it's crazy right we have learned four commands we have ls pwd cd cd dot dot okay to go back now let's go even more crazier let's continue going back and see where will we end now continue writing cd dot dot okay now where are we okay great we had slash home now let's continue going back where are we right pwd now we are at four slash that's it it's the end it's like the root of our file system okay this is the root of every file system in linux and this in the second video we are going to see what this sucker is we are going to go deep inside this one because if you write ls and list everything we want to see things available in the file system we can see a lot of things we can see bean we can see s bean which stands for super bean okay we, we have bean right over here we have etc we have that we have a lot of things right over here bruh now i want you to do one thing in click subscribe in this channel and in the next video i'm going to teach you what actually is everything right here and you will learn one thing let me give you a sneak peek everything in linux is a file everything even these commands like the ls the whatever pwd cd they are all files you don't believe me i'll convince you in the next video click subscribe get the notifications bells on and the next video i'll be teaching you like and i will be showing you that everything in linux is the damn stinking file okay now one thing guys i have a quiz before i go right now we are at slash root and this is the end we can never go further back like we can never go beyond the root file system okay how do we go back into the slash home slash kev then at like at your home page now you can actually do this by one command or you can actually do this by two commands i want you to write the commands in the section of the comments like the comment section down below tell me if you found the commands this will be the quiz for you and make sure you stay updated after two days i'm posting the next session of hackers you need to learn linux i'll be teaching you exactly what you need to know to start your hacking journey stay tuned and i love you all catch you in the next one peace out